after a grace period, your facilities and foundations will start to decay. If your foundations or facilities decay too far, they will eventually collapse and render your facilities either unusable or some parts of it unusable. To counter decay, you can build your facilities close to, for instance, a relic base and put garrison supplies in the relic base to counter the decay of your facility. If you're out in the open like we are here and there are, is no base around, we can build a special facility that is the maintenance tunnel. We press B to open a build menu, we go to the facilities category and if we hover over the maintenance tunnel we can see that it will cost us 200 construction materials to make and we need a CV to build it. Once it is built and supplied with garrison supplies it will halt the decay of foundations, facilities and train tracks for a radius of 40 meters around the maintenance tunnel. And as an extra bonus, it can produce its own garrison supplies at the cost of one construction material, which will make 10 garrison supplies. Power requirement for that is 2 megawatts and the production time will be 3 minutes and 45 seconds. To place a maintenance tunnel, we simply click on the icon of the maintenance tunnel that will put the blueprint underneath our mouse cursor we can hold down the right mouse button to change the orientation even though that doesn't really make a difference because the power connector is on top and the building itself is circular and flat we simply left click to place the blueprint drive up with our cv and start hammering in the construction materials now that the maintenance tunnel is built, we can hop out of the CV by pressing Q and come up to the maintenance tunnel and press E to open it up. We can see that we have an inventory of a one slot, then we have a production panel that shows us that we can turn construction materials into garrison supplies and that it needs two megawatts of power to do that. We can also see that in the stockpile we can store construction materials and garrison supplies. The status panel shows us how much power we have and how much power we need. Just keep in mind that the maintenance tunnel needs power to produce garrison supplies but it does not need power to prevent decay it just needs garrison supplies to prevent decay. To put construction materials into the maintenance tunnel, we press E to open the menu of the maintenance tunnel, go to the backpack and right click on the construction materials and left click on submit all to stockpile. Uh, we'll put them into the stockpile. Even though the recipe for construction materials to garrison supplies is on, it's not working and that is because we haven't provided any power. So we provide some power by pressing B to open the build menu, go to the power category, select a power line, connect a power line to the power pole and then from the power pole to our maintenance tunnel and if we now press E to open our maintenance tunnel we can see that the status bar underneath the recipe is going to the right and that the timer is running down. We can also submit crates of garrison supplies that are made in a factory if we grab garrison supplies into our inventory and walk up to the maintenance tunnel and press E to open the menu, we can come to our backpack, right click on the crates of garrison supplies and left click on submit all to stockpile. And that will put 900 garrison supplies into the stockpile. The reason it doesn't uncreate two crates is because a crate of garrison supplies is 150 garrison supplies and the maximum of the stockpile for G supplies in a maintenance tunnel is a thousand. Currently we have 994 garrison supplies in the stockpile and even though our maintenance tunnels is provided with power and has construction materials it is not using the recipe to make more garrison supplies this is because the limit of a garrison supplies in the stockpile is a thousand and if it would make the a recipe it will gain a 10 garrison supplies which will put it over a thousand 
Since maintenance tunnels are also used to prevent decay on railroads, you might have to lay a network of maintenance tunnels. It is good to be aware of the limitations of maintenance tunnels. If we try to build it right here, we come to the build menu and select a maintenance tunnel. We can see that it says too close to another maintenance tunnel. That is because we are within the 70 meter radius around the other maintenance tunnel that is already connected. If we get outside of the 70 meter radius, and we try to build a maintenance tunnel, we can see that we should be able to build it, we can place it here. And if we do, the decay prevention radii of both tunnels will overlap. Meaning that the radius of each tunnel of 40 meters that prevents decay will overlap with the 40 meter radius of the other tunnel. 